flower. It's, it's a launch, launch day. day. What, what are we launching? launching? It's, it's a launch, launch day. day. Bouquet of flowers. Woo! Woo! Yes! There we go. Uh, we love to sing along to our little jingles, as you know, especially when it's me and the fish in town. Uh, hello! And a very good... The bosses are walking down the corridor. Uh, hello and a very good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. And yes, this is launch day. Boy, oh boy, we are launching new products left, right and centre. And let me just tell you, I had the joy on Saturday of hosting along with Sarah our HSM preview show showing you loads of goodies that will be coming up in coming days and weeks and the collection that we've got for you on this particular show uh, was one of the collections that you guys were chatting a lot about on Saturday on the socials well I'm pleased to tell you it is finally here and you might have a bit of an idea as to what we have coming up for you that we are launching today because we were just singing about it then thank you Charlotte <laughs> we have got the Build a Bouquet collection and this is absolutely phenomenal if you're looking to be able to build some of the most beautiful cards with some of the most beautiful bouquets of flowers you will need this collection because it's just going to allow you to be able to build up these beautiful bouquets so easily and so simply it is stamps and dies it's 118 elements as the price is phenomenal before I go through it all with you let's reintroduce you to the lady who is with me for the next couple of hours looking bright and all flowery the other side of the studio I know is loving this collection as much as me. It is the lovely Debbie Fisher. Hello. Hello, Ben. How are you? I'm very well. Um, much better for seeing your smiley face and having a sing along <laughs> with you as well. But how lovely is this collection? You know what? I adore flowers and butterflies, and the flowers in here are beautiful. What I love about these is you can build them up exactly what it says you can do. You build a bouquet, you create those beautiful vases. We've got four different ones, and you can mix and match them, build them up into whatever you want. I mean, look at these gorgeous samples. Our DT have excelled themselves. But you might not want to build a bouquet. You might want to just smother your whole card oh, with lovely. flowers. How beautiful is this card? Just with a pop of colour in the background. It really does look like, almost like a bride's thrown a bouquet and all those flowers are scattered around. Uh, use your pastel colours. Use your bright colours. How about making a card with a gift? You're thinking a gift? What's a gift? A gift on what that. Gift? If I if I move this, oh. it's on a brooch pin. Oh, I love that How idea. How clever is that? So you've actually got a bouquet brooch pin. Absolutely love that one. That was done by our Wendy Hood. It's beautiful. So you can use all your pretty papers that you've got in your stash. Anything, any colouring medium that you want to do. Uh, we're going to be using tri-blend brushes, tri-blend markers, tri-blend aquas, and you can use whatever you want. I mean, how fabulous are these samples? They're just beautiful, Ben. Uh, just a little snapshot, really, to show show you the versatility of this particular region already. The socials are going bonkers for those of you uh, who saw these on Saturday, uh, who have perhaps already jumped in and bought them, but for those of you who haven't, you're going, right, I'm getting these. These are mine. Beth just saying, what an amazing build of okay. I love this set, says Shelley. So looking forward to receiving it uh, and loads of you already in. I'll do a few hellos in just a few moments time, but I wanna show you the boards. By the way, by the way, that's the third time, third time I've done that. Uh, almost a fifth of the stock has already gone. Uh, and that is of our launch stock. And we're only four minutes into the show. Um, the reason this is going right is because it is an absolutely beautiful collection. You're going to get 118 elements, but also with this, and loads of people were commenting about this on Saturday, you're loving how we're bringing you stamp and die sets now. So it makes it like doubly versatile because if you um, want to just use the stamps on their own, you can do. But then, of course, you've got all of the matching dies to go with the stamps that you've got in the collections, just making this so craftable and allowing you uh, to get building those bouquets nice and quick. You know, whether you're someone who's been crafting for um, you know years and years and years, or you're watching us today and thinking, I'd like to get into crafting, you're not going to go wrong with this at all because it's so simple to use, such an easy system. Uh, the great thing as well is, as we found out earlier on, all these will go through your Gemini Mini. So even if you are thinking to yourself, well, I need a die cutting machine, you don't need to spend a fortune on these today either. And here's the other thing. How many times in your craft are you going to be using flowers? 
literally all the time. So this is like a set that you'll be coming back to time and time and time again. And like Debbie was saying, do you know what? If you just want to use these as is, you can do, but then if you decide to kind of layer these up, build these up, get your foam pads out and create some gorgeous images and 3D effects with these, you are away. The four bundles. Uh, that you are going to get here. Uh, this one is your first for a beautiful friend. And as you can see with this, all these beautiful images that you can stamp and then you cut them out with all of the corresponding dies. I love the fact as well that you can actually build up within this bundle because you've got all of the foliage, you've got the leaves, the ribbons, you've got the stems there as well. You've got the different pots and vases, but there's nothing to say then that you couldn't actually use some of the stems or the foliage from the second bundle that you've got in here, um, which is your, um, wishing you well. I particularly like the little jug on this one as well, which I think is rather cute. Uh, but again, look at this, all of the different flowers that you've got, um, your kind of embellishments with, with the ribbons. And once you've got your pens into these, your inks as well, you can create some really, really gorgeous bouquets. Again, all of those dies to be able to cut out all of your stamped images. Here's the third bundle that you're going to get within this collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. Enjoy your day. Um, again, so much as as far as your flowers are concerned here you've got your ribbons love the uh, the little uh, vase there as well the sort of um almost like a little flute neck isn't it there absolutely gorgeous so again you can cross these over with the other um detail that you've got within this bundle and then here's your fourth and final collection which is just for you gorgeous rose and again here you've got all of the different stems so again if you want to use that with the other flowers from the other collections you can do uh, different vase that you've got in this collection as well and all of those dies to work with it this is normally 57 pounds or 67.29 you're also going to get with this collection as well something which i knocked off the top of the display there uh, your um, flagstone uh, finesse waterproof pad so that's going to come with it as well 42 is johnny it's disappeared behind there and i'm going to sort it out when you've gone off me because otherwise the whole thing is going to go like dominoes i know what i'm like what am i like uh 42 pounds or 50 dollars so you're already saving almost 15 pounds or 18 dollars take off your platinum membership it comes down to 33 pounds 60 or 40 dollars which i just think is a super super price for whoever's buying this, whether you are a brand new crafter, this is ease of crafting right here. Uh, and if you have been with us for a while, I have no doubt you'll be jumping in and grabbing this if you haven't already. Uh, over a fifth of the stock has gone and more is going as I talk. Now, the other thing which I wanna bring to your attention, which I think is going to be a perfect partner to go with this collection, and this is my star buy. Oh, my voice went then. Star buy of the show. This is, this is uh, brilliant. It is your tricolor marker collection. <laughs> There's 12 elements in total here and a storage wallet. I sounded like a sheep there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Um, and the great thing about this is the tricolors. Okay, so these are your um, your aqua tricolors. So again, you can create um, so many great effects with these because they're uh, water-based, of course. But within each of the three pens that you're going to get within the four sets, you have got uh, the different colors which are going to blend beautifully for you. So I always think these again, perfect for beginners, perfect for people who are not too sure about what colors go well with what. Because within each pen, you've kind of got like three mini pens if you like so you've got your floral meadow here for example which brings you your fresh verdant uh, your warm fiery and your bright floral and you can see the three different colors that you're going to get within each of the pens and the blendability that you get with these is phenomenal let me go through the deal uh, for you because this is where it gets amazing so you've got your floral meadow in there then you've got your color basics again again that brings you your complementary your cool primary and your warm primary so so just to explain so this is one pen here with those three complementary colors which blend beautifully same again here the second pen is your cool primary here are your three colors just showing how you can blend beautifully and the same with your warm primary so that's your second set of pens that you're going to get number three is the great outdoors uh, your rich floral your cool marine and your botanic uh, natural so again three pens three different colors on each that's the blendability that you're going to be able to achieve with these and that's where you stop paying because we are then throwing in the fourth set for free, which is your essentials neutrals, uh, this is worth $9.99 or $14.95. So in here you get your grey neutral, your rich neutral and your um, earthy neutral. Again, three different colours per pen giving you that perfect blendability. You're not paying for that 
worth 9.99 and uh, eagle eye viewers may well have seen the storage wallet that we've got on the set as well the storage wallet worth 11.99 or 16.95 comes with this collection as well and guess what you're not paying for that either this is a super collection 29.97 or 44.85 for the whole bundle uh, and again if you're a platinum member you can take another 20 percent off that 23 pounds 98 or 35 dollars 88 wonderful collection i think that is going to fly simply because it's a super super deal uh, and again you've got so many different techniques you can do with your tricolors as always we are live and interactive uh, this monday uh, over a fifth of the stock has gone loads of you jumping in grab it whilst you can and as always get those questions coming in if there's anything that you want to ask us anything you want to throw our way uh, then please do and we'll get those questions answered over the course of the show but let's get over to the creative side of the studio and see how we use these because I think these are nice and easy to use Debbie really aren't they? They're so simple for me these are the sort of things that you can really take your time with you can enjoy using they're very mindful so we've got our beautiful bouquet I'm going to be using the just for you one now this one comes with all these stamp sets uh, what I love about this is each one you can use together but they all come with sort of your stems your vases your leaves your flowers your accessories like your bow, your bow and your uh, sentiments so you've got a really good range of stamps on there yeah. which is great for all the stampers out there because these are beautiful to colour but then you've got the dies that then cut out all these elements which is even more incredible so you can really go to town with how you build them up the packaging gives you one on the front there for um, uh, inspiration so you've got one to start yourself off with there and then what we're going to do to start with is we're going to lay some down and we're going to stamp them out first now because the dies are not solid you can see through them so so I like to stamp first and then do my die cuts. You could do it the other way around where you uh, cut them out and then stamp on them. Uh, but because they're not a solid one, we can use these just to uh, stamp down. So let's just do a few of the different ones. So we'll take our roses, there we go, and we'll have some greenery as well. And we can pop those all onto one to colour out. Now just make sure when you're placing them on your piece of card, you've got just enough room around each one that you can die cut them out. Yeah. But if you are just a stamper and you want to build up your scene, I would recommend using your pigment ink pads uh, and build up that colour. Because they're opaque, they will layer on top of each other. So you can uh, get a really good lay if you just want to do a stamped image. Uh, I am going to be using, to start with, my tri-blend uh, markers. And uh, so we're going to be using our uh, alcohol-proof dye. Uh, if you're using the watercolour ones, the ones you get in the actual deal is the waterproof one, which you can use with your aqua markers. Now, I like to use my stamping platform. Um, I'm not sure if they're on the show, but it will definitely be on the website. They are on the show. Oh, the it four is by on the show. The 4x4 is on the show. And we've got the rocker blocks better. as well. Oh, oh my God, all, that's amazing. All on. So I love this one because, Ben, I can then do another stamp down. So, and these work just really well to go in in the exact place that you need them and just making sure you get that really crisp finish on them. Mm. So let's take these ones off and then we're going to give them a little bit of colour. I do have lots pre-coloured in. I've had a really nice weekend last weekend, having a good old colour with different ones. I'm just going to grab myself a piece of card to put underneath while I'm colouring. And then we're just going to bring in some of our pens. So let's start off with a, I'm going to do a blue turquoise and we're going to colour this uh, beautiful vase. So I'm just going to give that a wash of colour in the middle. Uh -huh. So just around there. And then I'm going to come in the sides because we've got that sort of sphere. Um, I'm just going to flick my colour into here. And what that's going to do, it's just going to give me that highlight around that area. It's just a really nice to add your colour. If you're using watercolours, even better. Yeah. Uh, because they just go on. They will glide on. You can get that really sort of light shade um, where you're putting your pens down. And, just and then a, I'm going to go, uh, sorry, Ben, just, just back say, in with my lightest colour. For people who are watching for the first time, why did you put the card underneath the card that you're colouring on? 
because I'm using alcohol pens, what yeah. happens is the uh, card will take your ink through and you don't want, you see it starting to come through uh, at the back. Right, okay. If I didn't have anything, if it was just my glass mat, that would seep back into my card and come out the edges. So having the card underneath, that just helps with that. So then I'm going to go in again and just put in some more. I always like to do it twice, if not sometimes three times, because I just feel like the more you do it, the more depth you get, the more saturation of that beautiful colour, and their blending gets beautiful. And then I'm going to come in with my darkest colour and literally just do a little bit where I think my darkest areas will be. So many comments coming in already. Wow, we are biz, biz, busy. Um, lots of hellos coming in. Let's say hi to Pamela who's watching. Sandra says, uh, hi again, everyone. Rain has gone and sun is back out to play here in Darlington. Um, <laughs> Johnny's just gone, way, Darlington massive. Uh, Betsy <laughs> says, good morning from Houston. Debbie's in from a wet thundery North Yorkshire. Uh, Shadaya uh, says, good morning, Lord Ben and Debbie. That was a beautiful welcome to the show. I think that was... Uh, <laughs> talking about our uh, our singing we were literally singing like 10 minutes before we went live <coughs> <laughs> we love yeah. it don't we Ben? we're always singing <laughs> uh, do you know what i love about you debbie is that normally when i um you know i muck about or if i'm doing me singing like that i, I don't, don't normally get a response from elsewhere get ignored <laughs> but you always join in so that's I why i tend to do it in. more when you're around because you like a bit of a sing song i love singing i'm not very good at singing oh, but, but you I are love sing see i don't think i'm a good singer at all so i get at rapping i tell you what though yes uh, <laughs> earlier on Debbie was, uh, I tell you what, was rapping. Um, you've never read anything like it before. <laughs> uh, Charlotte, being the, the naughty vision mixer that she is, actually recorded that. So I'll, um, I'll, I shall review the video content later on. And I'm, if it's any good, I might put it up on my Facebook page. And maybe you and I can be launched to internet stardom with our rap skills. I think she was joking. She didn't really record it. No, she wasn't joking. I've, I've seen the video already. Did she really record it? <laughs> I didn't know that. You've got to be careful. <laughs> Tip from the top here. I've done it before where Craig and I were in here singing the Spice Girls <laughs> and she recorded that. He went and put it on Facebook. Oh, no. Yeah. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, w w w both you and I will review it in between shows <laughs> and then we'll see if it's worthy of showing the, uh, the, 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 the rest of the crafters. Let us know if you want to see me and Debbie rapping and we'll, we'll put it up on our Facebook pages potentially. <laughs> No, brilliant like, over no, there. No, don't ask them that because they'll say yes. <laughs> Debbie was like, <laughs> <laughs> I only wish I was good as you, you Ben. You, no. were, you are so good. No, you were. You started it. No, you are. No, you no. are. Oh, no. no, you are. You. You, you are. You. 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 <laughs> Stop it, you. <laughs> Right, so we're going to stop there, but you can see how easy they are to colour in to get that really beautiful vase. We've got our bow, our flower, and then all you're going to do, and actually I'm going to cut a couple of these out because, as you said at the beginning, Ben, uh, we can fit these through our Gemini Mini, which yes. is brilliant. So these sort of things are great. If you've got little girls, even little boys actually, because I'm sure they like their florals as well, mm. um, these are great for the kids' summer holidays where you want to uh, just give them something to do and uh, you know that you could cut your, or stamp loads of these out and then just give them a pile full with the dies and get them to work out which shape goes where love that idea um, and uh, yeah they'll love that uh, I'm just trying to find the flower one there we go so let's just bring that round try and work out which way around it goes there we go and then I'm just going to use a bit of low tech tape to stick those down I just think having all of the dies for the stamps as well just makes sets like this so much more craftable. Oh, totally. Um, and it allows yep. you to do so much more because you wouldn't want to necessarily, I mean, some people might want to, but you wouldn't necessarily just want to then start cutting these out by hand, would you really? But when you've got all the dies, it just makes life Always. so much easier for you. And again, they, the fact that they go through the mini, the mini, yep. uh, means that you, if you haven't already got a die cutting machine, you don't have to spend a fortune to get one because the mini is, um, uh, very, very inexpensive, actually, to get you started with yeah, your Yeah, it's with really your affordable, isn't mm. it? Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great little machine. So let's pop these in. We'll do our first two and then run them through. And what's nice about this, I'm going to turn this round. So you can see it's uh, left and right-handed. You just turn it round the other way. Run it through. It takes no time at all. 
So let's pop those, that one in there and run that through. So you can see, you can put it in, out, whichever way you want it going through. And there we go. I always stick mine on top of my um, my Gemini, so it's completely out of the way. Yeah. But in seconds, we've created these beautiful toppers for our card. <laughs> so let's get on to the best bit, Ben. So I'm going to pop them to the side. I've got all my other elements here, and I thought we would do something a little bit different. We'll uh, pop all these on. So I'm going to do a bit of a different sort of fold back card and I'll show you why. So I've got myself a card that's six by six. I then folded in it, half, scored in half at three, three inches and then folded it back on itself. So you can see that was our card blank. Fold it back on itself uh, and then we're just going to put our toppers on. So I've got my four toppers here. This is from Sarah's uh, uh, not rose gold, garden, gar garden, of rose love. Gar garden of love, garden of love, garden of love, garden of love, that's the one. I had to uh, refresh my memory then, just in case anyone wonders what papers they come from. And I'm just going to use our tape pens to put my we across. do have a couple of deals on tape pens on the show, whether you're into your uh, dotties or your uh, normal glue tape pens. I mean, you probably, you probably need both, to be fair. You do uh, need both, yes. Because you've got your dotties for your more intricate sticking uh, and then your uh, normal glue tape pens. We've got uh, twin packs, haven't we? Yes, of each. Uh, details on the show page. There we go. In fact, bottom of your screen there, look, as if by magic. Uh, those are your standard ones. Hey, that's a good price today, isn't it? Saving twenty. Mm, very good. Six pounds thirty-eight, nine dollars fifty-eight. Stock wow. up, friends. Yeah, stock up. Absolutely. Um, and then we've got the details for your uh, dotty tape pens as well. Again, really super handy for your um, more intricate dies and uh, intricate sticking. There's your dots. Again, uh, good deal on that as well. Ten percent saving. Amazing. Amazing. Right. So Ben, normally we would have our fold back card. We've had our nice topper on there. I could then put my vase and bouquet on there. But I thought I'd do a little bit uh, something different. But to show you how simple it is to make a completely different looking card. So instead of doing our fold back, I'm going to turn it this way and we're going to have our topper here because what I'm actually going to make is an inverted easel card. Oh, uh, okay. So very easy to do. Uh, and then what we're going to do is use this topper here. So I've just used one of my shape nesting dies and we're going to start by layering up all our flowers. So you can see here, these are the sort of ones that you want to sit in the garden doing, have your Gemini mini, do some colouring, cut them all out, have all these different elements and then you can start really building them up. So to start with, I'm going to be using my 3D glue gel. Uh, this is a great one because what I would recommend is using it because you can move it about really easy. If you don't like where you've put something, you can move it about. And that's the best way for me to start building up these flowers. So first of all, we're going to put our sticks in. So again, I can just put a little bit of the back and that will just slot in there. So that will give us our first piece uh -huh. uh, and then we can just start adding our leaves adding our flowers by using this we can use our um, so I'm going to go quite high to start with because we've got flowers that are going to decorate it doesn't matter if you get glue that you can see because that will be hidden and we can start building up around it I mean how much fun is this this is just really mindful something great to do um, but it really just takes you away from everyday things yeah so it's pop in these really good fun something that everybody can do you know um, and flowers for all occasions as I said earlier on you know what how many times would you be coming back to flowers when you are crafting I mean just used for every occasion year round for every person I just think this is a set that you'll come back to time and time again um, and it's so easy to use that's the thing about it and again what value for money you're getting today for 42 pounds or 50 dollars uh, 118 elements all interchangeable you know the fact that you can build your own bouquets with this in the diff even with the different vases as well i just think it's absolutely great uh, debbie says i really love this set i want to order uh, i want to order but i'm not very good at coloring 
You oh, don't need to be. No. You do not need to. I promise you, you do not need to be at all. Um, and you can see, I mean, in fact, you could even, like, so this leaf, for example, you could use coloured cardstock, just, yeah. black, just green cardstock, stamp on top of it, you've got your green leaves. So honestly, you really do not need to know how to colour. They are so simple. Um, and everyone, and I do say this, every single person can colour. Every single person. Yeah. It's what we're taught from such a young age, you know, and it, we don't have to be experts at colouring. I am definitely no expert at colouring at all. I don't see myself as an expert in colouring. It's just that I love it and know how to lay down that colour. It's about learning yeah. just how to blend your colours. But if you just want to do a block colour and a purple flower, you can absolutely do that. But I think the more you do it as well, the better you're going to get at it. And certainly with the, um, you know, the Spectrum Noir products that we've got here, the pens that we've got, you know, like the tri-colours that we've got, for example, here, if you've got better products to work with as well, you're going to become better and more confident at it as you go along too. So I, I would say to you, Debbie, give it a go because oh, you, you'll definitely. be surprised. You'll be surprised. You're probably, your, you know, your sort of own worst enemy in a way, really going, oh, I can't do it. I bet you can. I bet if you were to colour for us yep. and show us what you I did, we'll agree. be like, you're amazing. Yeah. Um, so we won't Absolutely. hear of that, Debbie. We will not hear of that. We will not hear of that. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bow on the front there. But Lovely. look how this is all coming together, Ben. I mean, mm. it just looks amazing. So just going to pop a little one in there. And I think we're going to pop that onto our card. Now, what I have got here is I've just stamped that just for you. So that's one of the sentiments that you get in there. Uh, I'm going to put it onto a foam pad. So let me just grab my foam pad, try and get a bigger one. And pop that into place. So this is going to act as our stopper. And use your, um, your beautiful um, nesting dies because they're great for doing all this sort of uh, matting and layering. So I'm going to pop that there and then just make sure that when we have this one up, that's it, it will fit perfectly. That's so just popping that to there. So all I need to do is, because I've put that on the back, I'm going to bring in my tacky glue. Uh, where's glow? There we go. Let me pull her out and I'm just going to put that tacky glue onto the back and then pop that just in the front there. I'm just making sure I've got that straight. I'm just going to make sure that's patted down. Just hold that for a few seconds if you're using your tacky glue. And if you don't like anything, and actually I'm feeling like there needs something else in that bit there. I'm just going to pop another bit in. It's probably enough glue in there yet. Oh, so okay. Put that inside. So that's the advantage of using your 3D glue again, yes, isn't it? Yes, there we to go. Your... It just feels like there was a little gap there. Yeah. And then if I bring that round, bring that to the forefront, uh, we can put another little bow on the side there. Let's pop this one that we did just on the side. And there we go. You've Fab. got your first beautiful um, builder bouquet. I mean, how gorgeous is that? And it really doesn't take long to do it. And what I would say is definitely batch make all of these flowers, these leaves, and put them together in a just a make. You'll just get the most prettiest, gorgeous makes. Absolutely phenomenal. And you know what? A, a brilliant first demo, actually, to show you how beautiful those cards can look with sort of minimal effort again, really. Do you know what I mean? You've got so much within the collection. And again, if you're new to this, that is something that you can do, absolutely. Um, loads of you going for this collection, lots of you chatting about how much you love it. Carolyn just saying, I love this set, I've already ordered, can't wait to receive it. So versatile, I love detailed coloring. Um, Sandra just saying, already have the double-sided flower dies and lots of other flowers and things. So I'm restraining myself to conserve the budget for other launches. Oh, Sandra, I wonder if you'll be able to restrain yourself until the end of the show. We shall see. But listen, uh, I just think this is such a uh, brilliant bundle to go for because, as I say, super usable, super versatile, uh, super easy to use and super pretty as well. We are at a quarter of the stock gone, uh, of our launch day stock gone inside the first half an hour of the show. Um, we've got some other goodies for you on the show that you might want to pop into your basket too, uh, that you might want to go for. Um, like for example, uh, the, um, the mini bundles, all right? So you can go for um, these individually, 12.99 or 14.95, or 
any two for 23 or 26. So again, if you are on a bit more of a budget and you're thinking, mm, I'm saving my money, but I do quite like these, plump for one or the other, or uh, go for two for 23 or two for 26. You can build up your own mini bundles um, on those. There's something for everybody on this show, whatever your budget might be. Now, if you're getting new dies, if you are uh, getting new stamps as well, you might need something in the way of storage. So we thought we would highlight that we've got the um, die and stamp storage folder uh, available for you. This is a small one, uh, but again, the price on this today is great because you're saving 10%, uh, £13.49 or $13.45. Company colours, of course. Uh, you've got the, um, the zip liner all the way around the outside. And I love the fact that we always give you the little tag there as well. So you can uh, label this up, uh, you know, if you've got different collections within these. And these will slot away really nicely for you as well. And then uh, once you open this up, of course, you can get all of the different magnetic panels to be able to pop in there. And these hold a lot. Um, we've also got uh, the inserts as well for your stamps, which you can get individually. You've got your ring binder detailing in there as well. So they're nice and durable, nice and sturdy. And even the pockets on the front here too. So you can pop in uh, even more bits and pieces inside your folders. So again, uh, just handy to have, particularly now as we're all getting out and about a little bit more, uh, you know, we're all heading out to see people and uh, maybe you joining craft alongs or you know, getting out to see friends, whatever it might be, uh, then these are absolutely perfect for that. We've got the magnetic panels, as I say, available for you on the show as well. But I just think if it's storage you're after, and I, I think we're always after more storage, aren't we? Uh, then this is a great little one to go for. £13.49 or $13.45, 10 percent saving already with another 20 percent off that if you are a Platinum member, of course, as well. Now, also on the show, uh, back in stock because I, to be honest with you, I thought that this, this was out of stock and we were waiting ages to get it back in, but it has now arrived. It has now come back in stock. Uh, the Nina um, card stock, uh, brilliant. If you are going to be doing your um, stamping, of course, nine nine pounds. That's right, is it? What for? Saving twenty five percent. You definitely. You do, oh, okay. All right, uh, 48 sheets, 16 in each, nine pounds or $13. Take another 20% off that if you're platinum. That comes down to seven pounds 20. Or 11, uh, 10 pounds, 40, $10 40. That's phenomenal. Uh, stock up, if you've been waiting for it, it is now here. And again, a perfect partner to pop into your basket with your brand new uh, launch day collection as well. That will be out of stock. Uh, sooner rather than later because the Nina is always very very popular uh, indeed keep the comments coming in any questions as well we'll fire those over to Debbie must say uh, happy Monday to Clarice from South Carolina uh, Linda says good morning spending my birthday with you this morning oh Linda happy birthday um, and Rhonda just saying a good morning from cloudy Chicago few questions coming in as well should we just quickly tackle those before we move on to the um, the next demo. Uh, Diane says on YouTube, Debbie, for beginners in colouring, which would be best to try first? This is that age old question. The water-based markers or the alcohol markers? Yeah, it's definitely the water-based. Yeah, water-based. So uh, my favourite, my absolute favourite is alcohol colouring. So I think if you can stretch to go for some alcohol markers, definitely the brush, the, th the tri-blend pens. Um, and but if you are an absolute beginner and you want to learn how to colour, um, water markers are very forgiving because you can sort of bleach them out. So if you make a mistake, you just put some water on it, put a damp, uh, so, uh, sorry, a piece of kitchen towel on and it soaks up that colour and you can start again. So I think they're just very easy to work with and they make you look very professional quickly. What I would say is if you are a beginner and want to go for alcohol colouring, I would start with just learning the, the colouring technique of just one colour um, and learning how to do, to do that first because you'll learn with alcohol markers that the colour is out of this world. The first lay down a colour is just amazing to put down and then just start bringing in a second colour um, and if you use our tri-blend pens, you've got those three colours in one pen that will teach you really quickly so I would say definitely the tricolors either in the water um, ones the aquas or the alcohol ones but uh, yeah for me absolute beginner is watercolors they're just very forgiving um, and the tricolors of course on the show today my star buy because you're getting uh, 12 of those and then of course you're only paying for nine of them and you get the storage wallet for free as well um, so it's a really really great bundle to go for just 29 pounds 97 or 40 
$44.85. Uh, one more question for now from Rebecca. He says, I have a problem where I've used 3D foam on top of a card base, but now my card is too heavy to stand up. Any tips on how to strengthen the card base at all? Uh, yeah, actually, that's. Uh, I, I was doing something the other day and I did exactly that. And I can't remember what it was. Well, so it's just tilting over because there's so many... It's just so heavy, yeah. yes. So you need to balance it out. So if the front of your card is the heavy part and it falls over, what I would definitely suggest is just take a piece of, um, just our stamping card, uh, a 300 GSM, and just mat and layer that into the inside. Or you could just use one of our pretty papers, anything like that. You just want to sort of distribute the weight um, from what you've put on the front to that. If it's in Inside, like I'm going to do a card now which is a bridge card uh, so if it's a card like this and your weight is in the back here you need to then weight your side bits out so you would just add extra uh, extra card weight on that side the other thing is is um, our solvent glue which is our all-purpose uh, Kalau glue yeah. uh, it dries like concrete and that gives a heavier um, uh, card weight once you've got that on as well so you could use that but yeah just add extra layers of card and that will uh, rectify that. Good stuff. Keep the questions coming. Beth is saying, Ben, are you going to make a card today? I'm not today, um, but that's not to say that I won't be making a card again very soon and craft, crafting along for the few of the shows now, aren't I? Hey, hey, Saturday, two demos. Oh, I know. I know. They're turning me into a crafter. They're turning <laughs> me into a crafter. Uh, Caddy says, woohoo, just received my CC delivery. Time to play. Um, and lots of chat about us uh, rapping, by uh, the way, Debbie, as well. Um, and none of them want to hear it, do they? Well, actually, the, the, a lot of them do want to. Uh, Paul are just saying, rap on, rap on. Uh, well, we're not, we're not going to be rapping on. Right now, we're going to be crafting on, crafting on. Yeah, what have you got absolutely. for us, Debbie? So we're going to do this bridge card. So if I bring these over, the one I'm going to use on this one is enjoy your day. So they've all been sort of named under what your sentiment is in the inside there. So we've got enjoy your day and we're going to be using these ones. Uh, I'm going to pop them up and just bring in my card because what I've done here is I've made a card base. My card base is uh, 11 and a quarter inches by six inches. And then I've scored in at one and three quarters three and a half and then seven and three quarters and nine and a half and then what I've done is myself a little bridge so this bridge will go across it will stick onto this part of the card and the front piece of the card and the bridge is seven and three quarters by one and three quarters so you can always watch that back to get your measurements if you want to uh, do this style of card so the first thing I'm going to do before we start building our bouquet I've just got some really nice pattern papers out of my favourite um uh, my favourite pad, which is quintessentially. The, uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh. That's well. That is my favourite oh. as well. I have two real favourites. So this one is the watercolour, ah. um, traditional water. Is it traditional? Traditional watercolour, isn't it? Traditional florals or contemporary watercolour. I can't remember what they're called. Contemporary. I can't remember now, Ben. Uh, Someone will tell us. Contemporary watercolour, isn't it? That ring, that rolls and off the top And traditional florals. And traditional florals. Yeah, I think, I think this the right is the around. water. So both of them I really like. So uh, yeah, it's out of that pad. I'm fast running out though, and I need to order myself so another quintessentially English because uh, oh, I love that one. Very beautiful. So that's our card there. And then we've got our bridge that is going to go over the top. Now the bridge is exactly the same as one of the stripes and the back one. And it means when you put this card together, it means when it's folded, it will fold as one. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of cardstock. Here it is. I've got it underneath. Because I thought it would be really nice to use these stamps to create a background inside here. So Ooh, pretty yeah. papers to start with. I mean, it's just the back of, you can see one of those papers. Um, but I wanted one that wasn't so overly patterned. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring in our stamps. So I want to use this big flower here and I also want to use the uh, twigs that go or twigs, the stems that go up because you have those in there as well. So to start with, let's just pop these in and then we'll move them sort of about. So I'm going to pop that one going up. We have that one over there. So just so we create that background. And then let's just have, in fact, we could probably do one of them at yeah. the same time. So let's just pop that there. 
Beth just messaged saying this is like floristry on paper as a as a florist for 30 plus years. I love it. Wow. There you go, getting a seal of approval from a, uh, a florist there. Beth, yeah, 30 plus years of floristry. So there you go. Amazing. Uh, I, I would imagine, not that I've ever done flower arranging, but I would imagine this is probably easier than normal floristry. That, I think it always looks terribly difficult. What's the stuff that you stick your flowers in as well? Oasis. No, they were a band in the 90s. What's the stuff you stick your... <laughs> yeah, it's Oasis. Is it? It's really called Oasis. The green yeah. stuff? Yep. Yeah. Like a spongy. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Oasis. I did not know that. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's called Oasis. Yeah, it's great stuff, that is. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever flower in. arranged? Um, only at home. I think I'm actually quite good at it. Oh, are you? Yeah, I think I'm quite good at arranging flowers and cutting stems down and heights and, yeah, yeah, getting that composition. I don't know how good I would be with a really big bouquet where you've got loads of flowers going on and mm. to be able to see them all, but uh, I love arranging flowers, yeah. I think that's something I could do in another life, mm, arrange flowers. There you go. <laughs> easier doing it. Easier doing it with uh, this collection, though. I'd imagine. Oh, um, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Give me yeah. paper any day. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, though, um, my partner. Um, I was speaking last night, and he said, "Oh, you're, he bought me some white roses because I love white roses." Aww. And uh, he said, "Oh, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to throw them away." I said, "Oh, that's fine." And he was like, "What flowers would you like next?" Really? Yeah. He's a keeper, How nice isn't he? Is that? Yeah. He He's cooks and buys me flowers. I can't can't be bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I bought my wife some flowers um <laughs> On, uh, in like nineteen sixty. <laughs> yeah. Then. Just like you, Johnny, I bet you bought your wife flowers recently. Ah, Johnny's the same with uh, with his gemma, it's wine or flowers. Yeah, it's wine that gets chosen, uh, mainly apparently, so that's the reason he doesn't buy his wife flowers. <laughs> she never gets the wine either because he always drinks it first, but um, there we go. <laughs> but the problem with real flowers, you see, though, as you've yeah, just highlighted, is that, you know, you have them for a while, and then if, if you're anything like my wife, you spend all this money on bouquets of flowers, and then within a few days, they've gone. But with these, that's very for true. life. So there you go, you can see how you build that up and we've built up a beautiful background. So you just keep going, put some of the leaves across the top, do your stems in along the bottom and then you just build up your beautiful flower garden in the background. So I love this about them, Ben, is the fact that we can just put them anywhere we choose to put them and they will look beautiful. You don't have to put them in the vases or in bunches. You can just create those gorgeous backgrounds. So we're going to pop that into our background and then we're going to start building up our flowers. So the first thing I'm going to do is just build up a few. I am, going to be, I am just going to bring in all my extra elements here. So I've got lots of bits which I've popped to the side. I should have put them onto something. So there we go, all my flowers. So I'm going to do some of these yellow ones in the background so we can just pop those in. So put some of these greeneries. It just sort of adds to, I've got some more here. What are the flowers in the background there? I always get confused. I mean, I know you've got roses these ones. there. What are the ones you've stamped in the background? Uh, I would say they, they are a chrysanthemum. Oh, chrysanthemum. Yes. Okay. Yeah, apologies if I've got that wrong to anyone that's... Um, oh, uh, Char Charlotte, our uh, resident uh, botanist, was just said, I think they look like dahlias. See, I think, aren't dahlias? Uh, got more like bigger leaves. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not really a, an expert. You'd, you'd have to let us flowers. know in the comments. I, the one I was thinking uh, of, which I can't think of, is not either of the two that you've mentioned so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, she's, um, Charlotte's just saying that's a dahlia. Yes, yeah, she could uh. be right. I'm not no flower expert. So you've got dahlias. What are the little yellow ones? I would say these are, f um, oh, I know what they are. They are they always yellow? Gone out of my, no. No, they're little f uh, fox gloves. Fox gloves. Yes, it. I got one. Yes. Well yes. done, Ben. Yes. <laughs> fox gloves, that's the one. Hot dogs, did you say? Fox gloves. Oh, I was say they're definitely not hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a flower, even I know that. <laughs> yeah, fox gloves and, what did you say it was? Shut up and ask, Mary, what did you say it was? Dahlia. Dahlia. Dahlia, Dahlia. Dahlia or Dahlia, yeah. yeah. Potato, potato. 
So I'm just putting, because this card's going to be folded, I don't want to get my squidgy glue everywhere. So no. I'm going to just heighten that one there. So it will just give us something a little bit different to look at on the inside. And then we'll have another one just on there. I think the great thing about this is as well, I think you touched on it earlier on, um, is that you can get a little production line going with this too, can't you? Because, you know, if you want to uh, craft along with friends and family or with the kids, for example, mm -hmm. you can get all the bits cut out, you know, the day before, whatever, get them colouring along with you as well. And then, then have the fun of arranging all of your own flowers. It's a really, really nice, relaxing and, like you say, mindful thing to do. Oh, totally. Super simple. Yeah, it's so lovely. And it really will keep you quiet for ages. Yeah. <laughs> because you'll just want to carry on doing all these different elements and, and getting more and more done. So there's our actual card base that we've done. And then what we're going to do is just bring in, again, I'm just using uh, one of my shape nesting dies. And we're going to just pop that onto the, the side. And that's the piece that we're going to build up our flower onto. So popping that in, making sure that's all structured. We've then got our sentiment, so wishing you every happiness. So we're just going to pop this on the side. Um, floral foam, apparently, is the stuff. Oasis is the brand of the thing that you put the flowers in. And then lots of people chatting about oh, the flat. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, apparently. I never knew that. I've always called it Oasis. But when you go into shops to buy it, it's called Oasis. Oh, really? Yeah, it really is called. Yeah, so, but it must be a bit like Upo paper. That's the brand. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I suppose. And like, yeah, sellotape and... Um, like hoovers as well, because you would say I'm doing the hoover in it. So we're not doing the hoover unless you've got a hoover, you're doing the vacuuming. Um, and th those flowers, there's chat that they might be zinnias, hyacinths, and um, Beth saying they look like dahlias and the yellow look like foxgloves. And that's from Beth the florist, by the way. So we'll take, we'll go with Beth, what Beth said. Dahlias and foxgloves, which is what we said. Oh, I was happy to go with Charlotte. She got that right, didn't she? Yep, I was ha always happy to go with whatever Charlotte says. <laughs> she is the boss around here. We never never go against Charlotte. <laughs> yep. I thought I had some more stems. I seem to have lost my stems. But do you oh. know what, Ben? What yeah. we can do... Oh, there's another one there. Three's enough, isn't it? That's fine. Yeah. We, can always, we could have always cut some. But you can cut your stems. You've got a die in here that uh, cuts all your stems mm -hmm. there. Uh, so we're going to pop that down. But what I am going to do, I think, is get my glue. I've got so much in front of me, I'm having to hunt. It's not like me. I normally clear up as I go along. Uh, I'm going to put my sort of blob of glue up to the top. And then we'll just lay those in there. So I think that would be the best way to do this. It's a lovely card coming together. Gilmore just saying, I love the background. Really pretty, says Pam. I love this collection. It's so versatile. Um, Vicky on YouTube says, my sweetheart surprised me with two dozen white and red roses. Uh, bought me a beautiful yellow rose from my rose garden. I beg your pardon. I knew you were going to sing that. <laughs> I never promised you a rose garden. And Pamela says, whoop, whoop, I've got a delivery coming today, but I've got no idea which one because the numbers never match. So many deliveries coming oh, through. You that sound like me. Is that, that, is that the that. same? I do exactly the same. Yeah, Al said to me the other day, you've got three parcels here and I, I really can't think what I've ordered. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, you've ordered so much stuff, you even surprise yourself as to what the delivery man's bringing up the driveway. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Not, no, not really. Do you know what it is? And I'm sure everyone will agree. You, you get all, you get like these no, you're looking like wherever you are, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, just on your email, and you get pop ups that like tell you all these good things. And I just think, well, oh, that's really good. I'll have one of those. Buy that. <laughs> have that it's like I'm what we so do here bad. we show you we show you an amazing set like this and then you go oh i'm having that yeah and then we go oh but you might want to also get and then you go oh yeah i love that as well <laughs> yeah. and then but what about also adding this in it's like sarah says we're enablers here you see enablers i know exactly it's terrible isn't it yeah we do need all the good stuff though you need you need you definitely need to get this over a quarter of the stock i think has gone now as well um so please jump in and grab it i just think it's super versatile look at the fun that you can have with it as well yeah and i, I literally could do this all day yeah. and it's just about moving it about seeing what works where uh, just moving it all in so we're going to tile that in it could have done with an extra stem but I'm not too worried I'm actually quite liking that so I don't think we need much more let's just pop another one in there 
and there we go so we've got our few bits there always have more than you need and then that way you can just start building them up creating that background uh, and they just look sensational uh, and someone would so appreciate a card like this Ben because it is something that you've really created all those backgrounds all those foregrounds just making it come to life isn't it it really is that is a real sort of crowd pleaser that one putting a smile on anyone's face you'd receive that card but this is the kind of thing that you can do as i've said this is the kind of thing that you can achieve i'll come back and show you the boards again in just a few moments time uh, but we're over a quarter of the stock comments coming in from uh, loads of you saying how much you love this a lot of you as i thought would be the case snuck in uh, during the hsm preview on saturday and grabbed this but should i just saying thank goodness that those stamps come with the dies because uh, i do not have any ounce of patience with fiddly bits of stamp uh, from mrs impatience good one i love that but it's making it easier for you again isn't it as you just uh, pointed out it makes it easier for you uh, rosalind i love this idea rosalind says those little vases would be great for creating um halloween uh different lab style containers i love that idea like the mad scientist with all those different potions coming up out of the um yeah the the, the uh, containers that's great um rose is saying um oh the beautiful collection is lovely chat about that on the socials i have a lot of b-themed paper so i'm going to save the money but it's quite tempting uh, and basically uh, loads of you loving the demos coming uh, your way from debbie today too so let us give you time now to check out your baskets because i've got a funny feeling lots of you have got this new brand new builder bouquet collection uh, in your baskets in your carts remember you're already saving 14.95 or 17.29 take another 20 percent off that if you're platinum uh, and that is why you need to be checking out 33 pound 60 or 40 dollars it's phenomenal we've got the smaller bundles for you as well if you want to go that way but whatever you have in your basket right now this is the time for you to check out you miss nothing here we've got some information coming up for you uh, but we'll be back with some demos in just a couple of minutes so check out those carts right now we've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed with continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, welcome back. Sorry, Craig's still here. He's just taking our drinks orders. Uh, that's what he does when he's not doing shows. He's, he runs up and down. He's got a little trolley. He goes up and down the, the corridor. Tea crisps. Hey, iron brew. Haggis. That's what he does. <laughs> I was like, hold the haggis. I'll just have a coffee. Thanks very much. Aye, I'll get you a coffee. That's what he does. He's always here. He's here till five. That's what, did you not know that? Oh, that's amazing. 
Surprised that nobody. Surprised that nobody. Uh, he lives under the stairs. Did you not know that? Yeah. <laughs> then he gets his little. He gets his little trolley out after. <laughs> um, back in the real world well done for checking out your carts and your baskets by the way loads of you um, have just done that and that is good news because we don't want you to miss out uh, and there's lots of chat actually about orders that you guys have placed recently Kathy to say I order so much from Crafters Companion I had to give my postmaster cookies uh, to, then, uh, to them for her putting all my packages in a lockbox for me to pick up I uh, received four boxes just last Saturday uh, and Rhonda saying my delivery person is female she rings my doorbell uh, when I answer uh, she's about to take a picture of the package uh, so I do a vanna in the pick I don't know what that is a vanna what? what is that uh, uh, is that like a yeah, it tells what it is a vanna I don't know what that is um, na 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 and Kathy what was that and Kathy says <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'm having a delivery today. Yay, excited for new play toys. Well, listen, you could be getting a delivery very soon if you get your hands on the brand new launch day bundle, uh, which is heading towards a third of the stock. However, what you may also want to get is my Star Boy, which we're going to be looking at right now. Um, the tricolors, these are super, and Debbie's going to be taking uh, you through these in just a few moments' time. But let me just throw you through the bundle here a second. So you have got the, um, the tricolors. So these are your um, aqua tricolors, water basic course again so as Debbie was talking about earlier on the things that you can do with these um, is phenomenal you've got so many different techniques you can do um, with your water um, you're basically going to get three pens within each of the smaller bundles but each of the pens contains three colors that blend effortlessly so um, again if you want to get into watercolor this is a great place to start on any other day, it's a great place to start, but particularly today, and I'll tell you for why. So let's look, you're gonna get your essential neutrals. So basically, you've got three pens here. You've got your um, earthy neutral, you've got your rich neutral, and your grain neutral, but within each of the pens, you've got the three different blends. And as you can see here, they blend perfectly for you. So the, the hard work's been done. So your chestnut, your desert, your topaz, uh, your burgundy tan, and your sepia, and then you've got your, uh, your slate, your flint, and your bark, all blend seamlessly. So there's your essential neutrals. Same again here in your floral meadow. So you'll get three pens, three different colors within each pen to give you that seamless blend. Fresh, verdant, warm, fiery, and your bright floral. Then you're gonna get your color basics. Again, three pens, three colors within each pen. There's your contemporary, your uh, cool primary, and your warm primary. And that's where you stop paying. Because in this collection today, and why it's a star buy, we're then going to give you your fourth bundle for free. So in this case, just the way the boards have fallen, the great outdoors comes to you for free. So again, three pens, three different colours within each pen, which blend effortlessly. So that is your... Um, oh, sorry, Craig's here with his trolley. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Just telling everyone how you... has his trolley. That's it, just pop it. That's lovely. Thanks so much. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More milk next time. I can't get the uh, staff these days, can you? Anyway, no, just one. Um, so that that is the one that you get for free. You're not paying for the fourth bundle, all right? Here's the other brilliant thing. You're getting your storage wallet for free as well. So one set of the pens and the storage wallet for free. The pens are worth £9.99. Um, individually or $14.95. The storage wallet is worth $11.99 or $16.95. They're for free. That's why this bundle today is phenomenal. £29.97 or $44.85. And that is even before you take off your 20% uh, if you're a platinum member. £23.98 or $35.88. But I know you want to have a look at these um, and you want to have a chat about them because there's been lots of chat about colouring and you know, which pen should I go for. Um, let's chat about these tri-colours, Debbie, because I know you're going to show us these. Um, if we are sort of new to colouring, these are a good way to go? Do you know what? I'm going to show you exactly why they are a good way to go. Uh, because uh, I've just done, I'm going to do a, a few different demos. So the first one I've done is I've stamped out some of the leaves uh, just in here. Because what these are great for, uh, I'm going to bring in, let me, I need a green pen, don't I? That would help. 
Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at our pen. What's easy about these um, is you have three different colours. Now, they don't all have to be the same colour. These are different to alcohol. In this one, I've got three colours. You can see I've got my sort of orangey red, I've got my yellow, and I've got my pink. So three completely different colours. But what our design team have done, they've took the three colours that will blend effortlessly yeah. into each other. You can't do that with an alcohol mask but you can do that with watercolours because they are forgiving, they do blend better, they're beautiful. Um, and then you've got ones such as the green ones which is our fresh verdant uh, and they will have your uh, light, your mediums and your darker colour tones in there and again will all blend. But what it means is you can take this, uh, I'm just going to scribble onto my mat and what I am going to take for quickness, I'm going to take one of our sparkle pens. Now this is just a clear sparkle. Now, I'm using this because it has a really beautiful Japanese brush nib on it, which is really good quality. It means, and I'm not going to contaminate my pen, I can pick that ink up. I now have a glitter water brush that I can go in and colour those leaves. That's brilliant. I mean, how I beautiful love that idea. is that? So that's how these are so easy because you don't need to know how to colour. You know that you have to stick within the lines. You can pick up your colour and you can colour that one colour on. And we've got a beautiful leaf. Hmm. Uh, and if we want to, and all you have to do to take that off is if you just do that onto your uh, mat, as soon as it runs, because see, I got pink on there from the last one I've done. Uh, you you just do that and it goes clear and your pen is back to how it was. Don't worry if it's stained, it's not going to harm that at all. Um, and then we can go in with a different colour, let's say I want to make that a little bit darker, let's put a little bit of that darker green on. I have every faith because this one pen is holding the colours that I know will blend beautifully. I can then go in and add just that little bit of texture, so adding that into dark shaded areas and that's going to make even that small leaf pop out which will be amazing and then I can go in I can paint these other ones and I can get in the smallest of gaps now you don't have to use your I'm using my sparkle pen because I have it to hand if you just want to use a brush just dip that into water uh, take off your excess I don't have any tissue so apologies you can do the same thing by picking that up and just painting straight on as well so even if you've just got yourself a little water brush now you don't have to use brushes at all apart from I mean you can paint directly with these so let's just say I want to color that leaf I just want to color that green that's going to give me a gorgeous lay down but actually that's going to waste a lot of my ink because you don't need to do that so if you take your pen or your paintbrush we can pop that oh sorry put too much put a tiny bit on and then you can work that out yeah tiny bit work that out because you can then just use in a dab at a time so that's a really good way of being able to paint those designs and what makes these pens so good uh, the other thing we can do and i wish i had oh i tell you what i have got i have got some wipes underneath so let's get rid of that green the other thing we can do especially and what are great for this is we can put onto our mat uh, i just want to oh there you go look i've got a bit of kitchen towel in my bag Let's wipe that. The reason I've wiped it, because I don't want to get water on my nibs. So I'm just going to put some scribbles on the, the counter, on my glass mat. Uh, and then I'm going to add some of the yellow. It's all from the same pen. And then I'm going to add some pink. So we'll put a bit of pink in between. It doesn't matter where it goes. It doesn't <laughs> matter if I go over. It just creates that really unique um, space there and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab myself uh, a spritzer yep. so just a water spritzer so this is a really cool way of just creating a background so you just add water to that you could wet your card as well if you wanted to but I'm just going to go straight in and put that over the top and what that's going to do is mix all those colors and give me a beautiful background so if I just bring that up look at that ah, here we go. I mean a really gorgeous mm background which is amazing so those colors mix incredibly well together and then if I bring in these pieces that I've done earlier once they're dry you've got these amazing uh, watercolor backgrounds that you can then die cut and stamp so if you use those let's move this all out the way if you use those to uh, let's just grab that 
and wipe up my mat there as we go along. Um, if you use them to cut some bits out, what I've got here, which have been cut out of that same sheet and just stamped, you can see we get then that gorgeous wash that comes out of those backgrounds and then you can just stamp. So these pens are absolutely fabulous yeah. for being able to create your backgrounds and to do your colouring as well. So that's why I say they're easy, Ben, because, and also there's so many different things that you can do with them. I think that's the thing, isn't it? Like you said, we've kind of ticked off everything as far as making these easy for beginners to use because you've got all of the different blends all the different colors so you're not having to think as far as yep. that is concerned but then like you said as far as doing techniques with these you've got so many different techniques so you've kind of got the beginner's angle covered off and then you've got the angle of as you get more experience with these you'll find all of the different ways that you can use them and all of the different things that you can do with them as well the color me happy shows by the way on youtube um, are always a good sort of reference point if you're yeah, looking for new absolutely. ideas because there's so many um ideas on there as well so worth having a look these are flying out the door by the way and i'm not surprised uh because as i say you're going to get one set of the tri colors for free uh, out of the four that you're going to get so you, you're paying for three basically you get the fourth for free and you get the storage wallet for free as well one of the best deals i've seen um on the tri colors so grab them whilst they're here because they are flying out of the door flying out and i'm not surprised uh, yeah if you did want to treat yourself you might be someone that does alcohol coloring uh, and want to get into some water coloring and wonder where to start well yeah. those are definitely the pens to go for so what i've got here ben is i've just took the middle section out of a card blank uh, with again using one of my shaped nesting dies uh, i'm going to put that through the middle because i do love an aperture card where you can look through it and it gives you just as much detail on the inside as what you have in the beauty papers on the outside so I've decorated the front already then got this on the inside but this time I'm not going to use a vase we're just going to use our little stems to decorate with so again I'm going to bring in my um, Kalau all purpose no I always say all purpose Kalau 3d glue chunky gel. glue chunky glue as our Debbie says absolutely and yeah. um, we're going to pop that onto there and then we're just going to start layering so the first thing we're going to do is get some height so we'll pop these up the top. What's your flower of choice? What's your fave? Well, I love white roses. Mm. They are probably, yeah, they're probably my favourite. Um, but, and I, I absolutely adore lilies. Oh, I love lilies. I just can't bear the smell when they come out in full bloom. Oh, really? Yeah, they give me a terrible headache. Yeah, really badly. So, uh, yeah, I, as much as I love lilies... You can't I, have them. I can't have them. can't have them. <laughs> it's, it's nice having a nice uh, nice garden with all your flowers or a nice bunch of flowers in the, in the, in the home as well. I, I, I actually quite like to get flowers. I've never, I've never been given a yeah, bunch of flowers. Yeah, I think it's funny, isn't it, how, get flowers. But you don't know it, yeah. it, it doesn't happen, does it? Doesn't, I mean, oh, Craig buys them for his house. Yeah, for himself. But I mean, it always seems to be the men that give the ladies the flowers, isn't it? I think yeah, it's, it's very true. I would appreciate, I'm not saying buy me flowers, by the way, uh, but I would always, I'd appreciate that. Nice little bunch of flowers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I did think about that. Um, what, buy me flowers? No. <laughs> oh, I would you buy you flowers. You shouldn't have. I would buy you flowers. No, I was actually... Two pound <laughs> Gary ones. <laughs> they smell of petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so ungrateful. <laughs> You should appreciate any flowers, Benjamin. <laughs> you just benjamin me. I just benjamin That's him. That's outrageous. <laughs> Only my mum does that. Oh, I'm like that. When my mum blessed her when oh. she was here, she used to call me Deborah. Yes. Like, Deborah. Yeah. Benjamin. <laughs> used to be. <laughs> what were you saying about flowers? Uh, it, I was actually going to say, it depends on what time of year as well. Oh, uh, yes. Because I absolutely adore daffodils. I just think, oh, they're so lovely. They just remind me of spring. Yeah. They're so happy. Yeah, I really love daffodils. That, that time of the year when the daffodils spring out is and um, tulips gorgeous. tulips I love, Old but tulips. I don't like how tulips go floppy, like when they bend over and just, they look then sad. Yeah, I, I like them mean. when they're, they're, they're upright, when they're perky, yes. Mm. Yeah, I like them when they're perky, but I think it's such a shame because they don't stay perky for long. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh dear. Um, oh right, we need to speak. <laughs> yeah. It's very hot in here. It is getting warm <laughs> in here. It is getting uh, warm in here. <laughs> Um, chat, the chat coming in about the flowers. Let us know your favourite flowers in the comments as well, by the way. If I'm, if I'm going to be buying you some flowers, I mean, I'm not, just to let you know, I'm not buying <laughs> yeah. flowers over. But, you know, if I, if I was, <laughs> no, Johnny, I'm not going to choose one lucky winner to receive flowers from me. Uh, but, you know, if, what, what would be your, your bouquet of flowers <laughs> that you'd that. like to yeah, receive? I think we should pick one winner you all send flowers to. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> You'd love that out there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there we go. As we were talking about all things floral, we've got our beautiful flower on the inside. Gorge. Just gorgeous. There we go. Number ah, three. <laughs> you are spoiling us with these demos today. And actually, who needs real life but, uh, bunches of flowers when you can build your own bouquet with this collection? So I'll show you the boards again very quickly because um, I feel like I've not shown you these for a little while just to show you uh, everything that you have got. Yes, they are all perky in this collection. Let me just tell you, no floppy flowers here. Um, this is your build of okay stamp and die collection. As we said earlier on, you can go for the smaller bundles should you wish to. So we've got something for every budget, the $12.99 individually. However, you want to go for the full set because not only do you get all four of them, but they also cross over quite nicely with each other because you can use the different stems from the different flowers and the other sets that you get. You can use the different vases, of course, too. Uh, but as loads of you have commented on, you've got the ease of being able to build up your own bouquets here. Whether you're using um, your 3D chunky glue or you're using your... Um, your foam pads you can get the uh, depth on there of course as well foam pads that's not funny well, and i was thinking does debbie sound like that she did she did it's just one of my little things i can't help but do she she doesn't sound anything like that does she not really i just can't help it chunky glue um what was i saying now anyway yes yes Johnny. <laughs> don't know um, but you get the dies with each of the stamps within this collection as well. So as you've talked about, Shadaya, I remember was saying that she doesn't like fuss, she's impatient, she wants to get under the crafting. So if we give you the stamps with the little dies, you're then there for ages. We give you the dies to be able to cut out your stamps. So that is your first collection there, Sentiments with each. That one is called Just For You. Uh, this is your second one here. Um, again, just jam-packed with flowers and foliage and stems and ribbons. Um, and that one there is, uh, thank you so much. And for a beautiful friend, all of the dies to be able to cut out all of your stamped images. This one I hear, uh, this one I hear, this one I like here. Uh, because um, I particularly like the little jug there. I really like that, it's really cute. Um, all the flowers again you can build up with the little ribbons and ties that you've got in there too. Uh, Thinking of You is that one. Again, two sentiments within that collection. And then the last of the four um, is this one here, uh, which is the Enjoy Your Day. Um, glorious flowers in here. Uh, we settled on that one being a dahlia, I think, didn't we? But again, look at this, so much as far as all of these are concerned, and you can see how these will intertwine beautifully with each other. You can use the different vines and the foliage within all of those collections. I think that's a stunning buy. Whether you are new to this or more experienced, this is a set that's easy to use, it's easy to create real standout, top-notch cards, uh, but actually, it's so, so simple to do. Even if you're brand new to this, you can get this home. You don't have to spend a huge amount of money on getting yourself a die cutting machine because these all go through the mini as well. Uh, and they are really, really affordable machines to go for. However, if you are um, already using machines, you definitely need to go for this. 42 pounds or $50, you're saving 14.95 or 17.29. You can take another 20% off that price that you're seeing there. So that's 33 pounds 60 or $40. Uh, stock wise now, we are at a third of the stock. Big stock for launch day, as you can imagine. Uh, loads of you jumping in and grabbing it. Uh, let's have a look at your storage as well, because if you're buying loads of new stamps and dies, you're probably gonna want somewhere to store them. Uh, this is your um, die and stamp storage folder, the one that I showed you earlier on, the small one. However, you can fit a huge amount in here. What I would say again is if you're, um, thinking about getting this collection and then you're thinking where am i going to put it all go for this today because that's a super price 13 pounds 49 or 13 dollars 45 is the deal on that one uh, already saving 10 percent then a further 20 uh, to come off that if you if you are a pardon you debbie uh, <laughs> 
uh, is, is uh, the price of that one. Uh, next up, magnetic sheets. Uh, so the mini size here, uh, these again work perfectly with your um, folder we've just shown you. £4.49 or six dollars 29 great deal on those uh, again you get three within each of the packs so it might be worth stocking up on those particularly if you're going for that uh, folder today as well and then we've got the bigger ones as well the full size storage panels to use with your larger folder these again great price today uh, saving 10 percent three within each set for six pounds 29 or eight dollars 99 and if you need to go large, we can do that for you as well. Not many left of these. We are dwindling as far as the stock is concerned on the large folders. Uh, it's a 10% saving today, uh, £17.99 or $22.45. Um, 12 by 12 paper pads, 20% off you want, 20% off you have got. This is the garden party. That's fresh, isn't it? And vibrant and lovely um, for this time of the year. Some really beautiful summertime colours in there. 48 sheets for £10.39 or $15.96. Uh, the farmhouse, what a gorgeous collection that is. Um, I think we've got other elements of that coming up very soon as well. Um, I want to say tomorrow, but you can pick up the um, textured cardstock pad today again loads of lovely summery colors in there 30 sheets for £10.39 or $12.76 and also the 20% saving one of my favorite um, paper pads that we've done the best of British which is limited stock um, that is going to go £15.99 or £19.96 48 sheets within that, which is gorgeous. Uh, and also, I just wanted to kind of bring to your attention that with it being the start of a new week, we have got a brand new, get it, got it, good. Yeah, you saw these a little bit earlier on uh, on Wake Up Call. If you missed Wake Up Call, um, make sure you watch back. It is the uh, Metallic Markers Complete Collection. This is a phenomenal buy uh, because you're going to get the six-piece Antique Elements Collection that you're seeing on screen there. Also, your six-piece Rare Minerals Collection and your six-pack of Precious Metals as well. These are a must, I think, any time of the year, but particularly this week, you're getting the whole collection for £20 or $30, uh, less your Platinum membership, that comes down to £16 or $24. Uh, it's live for this week or whilst stocks last. Uh, thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Uh, let us know as well uh, if you've already bunged these in your baskets. Those of you be chatting about um, your favourite flowers as well, which is uh, lovely. Uh, Peg is saying, I wish daffodils lasted longer, such a short season. Uh, Valerie saying, daffodils are my favourite spring flower. Uh, and Terry Tryanderson says on Facebook, Ben, you could send me a big bouquet of daisies. Oh, I could do that. I could definitely do that. But by the time they got to you, they'd probably just be all floppy, wouldn't they? Um, Vicky says, my sweetheart 3D printed my white and red roses too. Well, that's nice. Oh, and Trisha, so here you go, Debbie. Uh, Debbie, the trick to keep your tulips tall and straight is to prick a pin through the top of the stem just before the bud, says Trisha. Oh. My nan was a florist and told me this. We've always done it and it does work. Wow, so a pin just under the bud in yeah. the stem yeah. just before, while there's still a bud. Uh, uh, the trick to keep so it's all is to prick a pin through the top of the stem just before the bud. Just oh, just before, just before the bud. The bud so, yeah, yeah. So they have to be a bud. That's yeah. what I'm saying mm. before they they open. Wow, Clever. I'm going to try that because I do love tulips. Yeah, just don't like them when they go like that. Um, can't wait to get my hands on this set, says Crafty Becky. Uh, Asuli says, I love um, orchids. Those are my favourite. These bouquets are so adorable. Uh, Mandy Doodlehan says, good afternoon, crafty friends. Uh, handsome Ben, lovely fish. Ooh, and, uh, these, I'm liking these to this and, morning. <laughs> and the CC team. Yay. Uh, yeah, Johnny and Charlotte in the gallery steering the good ship craft. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, and we're ready for, I think, it's another... It's the J and the C. <laughs> what? It's the J and the C. She's rapping, she's rapping. <laughs> the J and the C in the place to be. It's me <laughs> and Debbie on C T V. <laughs> There you go. The B. <laughs> In the house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back.
get back to some nice floral yes. bouquets. Um, right, so build a bouquet. If you've just joined us, then welcome. Um, here at Crafters TV, we do some amazing things. Our design team are just superb. They've created uh, what I can only say is such a beautiful die and stamp range because it means we can build our own, we can be our own uh, designer of what we're creating. So I'm going to be using, which I think is my favourite one, uh, it's the Wishing You Well, and you're right, I think it's the one you said, it's got that jug in it. The jug in here is yeah. absolutely brilliant. It has a really lovely stamp, which is spotty. Uh, it has this gorgeous wrap around that really is like that rustic bouquet uh, that a lot of brides are having at the moment, where they're having that bouquet and that rustic twine around their bouquet. So that's a beautiful one. So we're gonna do a bit of both of these and make a really pretty card, something that's just right up my street, using lots of lovely pinks. So we're gonna take uh, the jar there off and get our stamps ready. So let's do a bit of stamping to start with. So here we go. With these, I do like to do the stamping first because it then you have an open stamp, uh, which, uh, sorry, an open die, which means you'll be able to see exactly where you're cutting it. So popping that on and my magnets. Let's do the jug and we also want to do our lilies. So the lily is so pretty and then we're just going to do these ones. And then I want to do this one, the rustic part. So let's just pop them into, there we go. And then I'm going to pick them up with my platform. I'm going to switch now, I'm using my tri-blend brush. So I'm going to switch now to my alcohol proof dye. And we're just going to run these over and stamp them down. There we go. Just down. Oh, I've missed a bit there, Ben. So the good thing is, is I can go back in with my platform. Absolutely. And not worry about that and stamp that out beautifully. Uh, Mandy Doodlehand says, Ben, what size is the small stamp and die storage, please? Mainly height. Ooh. Mm. Now you're asking. So this leaf here, what I should have done is stamp this out in a colour because, because can you see it's a solid leaf? So this is what I was saying earlier about someone that's not really sure about colouring. You can actually stamp it out into the colour that you want. I'm just going to bring this in so you can see when you cut them. So I've stamped this one in green uh, and then just cut it out. Can I, so, can I just, can you just measure this for me? Measure? Yeah, because yeah. uh, Mandy wanted to know how big it is. Would you like to bring it over to me? Sorry, and we yeah. Will, um, we will uh, measure it out on our mat. Sorry, I, I know you're mid demo, but I asked Thank the question and much. I don't want to. No, absolutely. Don't wait. So it is, I would say, exact measurements are, uh, it's just over 10 and a half. So if you say te 10 and three quarters yeah. by eight. Thank you. With the handle. Yeah. Uh, eight and a quarter. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, was it the actual case or the actual inside? It was the case that right. Mandy was, uh, that's the way it reads anyway. Mandy, let me know if, if it's any different. Right, so we're going to cut these out. We've got our lily, we've got our uh, little wrap there and our, well, I'm not going to cut my leaves because I did that in black. I meant to do that in a green. So we're just going to cut these ones out, bringing in my low tack tape just to hold them down. It's so cool, that little vase or little jug. It is cool, actually. I, 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 I remember once ordering hey. some flowers online yeah. and it actually, you could order them in a jug. It come in a jug. Seriously? Yeah. That's quite cute. So that's our long one. S actually. Someone's been asking, actually, and this might be for another demo, um, about how you could organise the stamping. It was Anne, in order to make it look as if the stems are inside the glass vase. Oh yeah, you could do that. Yep, that bit absolutely. Of masking or stamping and then mm -hmm. re-stamping. Uh, you could just, um, you would just need to stamp it and then stamp your um, vines into it. We could even, oh, look what I've done. I've put them, I was going to run them through my mini, but as I've already done that, I am just going to run them through my Gemini. So popping them onto there and running those through. Yeah, I would say you can just get away with stamping them and then stamping your your um, your twigs, your stems, just going into yeah. into the jar. Yeah. 
Oh, you know what you could do as well, Ben? You yeah. could stamp onto um, a printable acetate. Right. And oh. then, yeah, then cut that out. And yes. then you can put your stems in and you'd see them through the acetate. Clever. Mm. Clever. Always away, isn't there? Oh, always, always away. All right, so let me bring in my piece of card so we can do a bit of colouring onto these. And I'm going to bring in my magenta to do our lily. Um, still lots of lovely chat coming in. Thank you to Molly Hanna who says, hello everyone, just stopping by, getting some cards in the mail and running some errands this morning. Hope everyone is well. We are well. Uh, we're having a lovely day, a lovely launch. Uh, Beth's getting a delivery today. Uh, not sure what it is, so it will be a surprise. I love the fact that you guys order so much stuff and you don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, and lots of chat about the wrapping as well that we've been doing. Uh, Jeffrey says, not bad, Ben, but don't give up your day job. What? Ah, rude. <laughs> I think I've just been dissed. You've been dissed. Uh, Rhonda says, yo, yo, Ben. And Samantha says, Ben to the beat. I'm definitely, I'll, I'll make sure Debbie's happy, but I'll, I, if you go to my Facebook page later on, as long as uh, the fish is happy, we'll, we'll put the old... Uh, oh, no. Yeah. You were, you, were dropping, you were dropping some sick beats over there. <laughs> yeah. You just needed like a backwards baseball cap on. And you would have been in a big... A big um, which band was it? There, there, there was one who used to wear like the big uh, clock. Was that Run DMC? There was the rapper who used to wear the big clock on a chain. What, you say that I was like that? <laughs> well, I was just saying, what, who was it? Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav, yeah. Flav yes. Deb, De Debbie Debs. <laughs> yeah, Debbie Debs in the house. <laughs> um, so seeing as you've enjoyed it so much, we will, uh, we will probably pop that up for you a little bit later on. Uh, oh, Manny says, can you measure the space that you have to store so the inside mats, please? Many thanks. Oh, you, so you wanted the, sorry, coming back to it, um, the size of the storage folders is what she wanted, not the size of the case. Can I borrow your measuring mat again? <laughs> oh, so Johnny, it was can, the storage. The magnetic sheets, yeah, I think. Can you measure the space that you have to store? So the inside mats, please, says Mandy Doodlehands. Ah, uh, so the inside mats. So the inside mats for the smaller one at A5 in size. Ah, there you go. Good. Yeah. Eight by five. Yeah. Yeah, I did think it was strange uh, measuring the case then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm faulting you. I mean, some people might want to know what the, what the case is. Well, it just said, what is the size of the... Uh, the storage, mainly the height. Ah, okay. So it could have been either or. But I'm glad that we now know the, the size of the folder as well. Always good to know. It is always good to know. <laughs> always good. Um, Rhonda liked your tip about using the uh, acetate, by the way, for the clear vase. Yeah, Great minds think alike. Absolutely. And stamping onto vellum as well, says Vicky, would work. Oh, yes, it would. Yeah, that would look nice on vellum, wouldn't it? Oh, you could stamp onto vellum and colour underneath it. You could use your glitter markers, you can use your alcohol markers. Yeah, love that. So many ideas today. Uh, Cindy says, uh, please, I'm not certain what this piece under the vase is supposed to be. What the this piece, piece under, under this vase, the jug, is that what you mean? I find the design on front of the package odd. Bright pink doily. What? I don't understand the question. Um, mm. Oh, it's some tough questions today. <laughs> I don't understand. Yes, oh, please Cindy, explain. Cindy, re re-send. Because we will answer anything, but we need yeah. to understand. Yeah, send that So send what that is again. the question? I'm not certain what this piece under the vase is supposed to be. Please I find the design on the front of the package odd. Bright pink doily. Ah, oh, so it's on one of the packaging, so we've got to find one that has a pink doily. Uh, oh, that bit there that's... Sh Wait, what bit? So there's, a, there's, the, there's the jug. Two oh, is it, is it two vases? Could it be this one, the bright pink, and it might be the, the big flowers on it? Or is it the background? The background, I think, is what it is. Look at us trying to work it out. Is it the background that you're 
Let, the one I'm using. Oh, right, okay. So the one I'm using. Oh, I see. Yeah, what's underneath. Yeah. I think it's just a, a, a shape, but it's been distorted because of the flowers. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's all it is. Yeah, just a, a piece on the back. I think it's just to make them stand out. Got you. Yeah, just to stand out. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we got there. We got there in the end. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Uh, Alicia saying, um, love Ben's singing. Tell us how the boy band is going, Ben. Uh, I think you're a brilliant singer, Ben. It's, it, the boy band thing is happening. It's going slowly, uh, but we will get another song out to you, um, hopefully sometime in the summer. It's getting us all together to film the video as well. That's the hard thing to do with it. Oh, see. is that what you're doing? I didn't know you were doing that. Me, Joe and Craig, potentially, with oh. Johnny on backing Oh, that's amazing. Um, John Where Arlo. Where am I when I don't hear about all these things? No, no, I, well, to be honest, I normally hear about them secondhand as well. I just get told that I'm doing that's them. I heard about them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I had, the, I, I had a message the other day from Erin uh, saying that Craig wants another song uh, to the, the, the theme of... Um, you know, remember Wright said Fred, I'm too sexy. Oh, well, he can't be greedy. We've, we've not had our songs well, yet. I know. He wants I'm too crafty. So there's another one. He can't do that because he needs a bald head. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, maybe we could shave it. Uh. Now there's another video. Oh, dear. I wonder if Craig would do that for charity. What, have his head shaved? Yeah, and then he could do the. Uh, then he could do that, couldn't he? Yeah, we last him. I can see him. He's out in the corridor with his trolley. <laughs> right, so I've just put a, a bit of a diorama card together with my aperture window inside. Again, using those gorgeous papers from Sarah's garden, not garden party, sorry. The, um, uh, what was the one I said before? Garden of Love. Garden of Love, that's it. I always get confused with them. Uh, and then I'm going to bring in all of these. Look how gorgeous these look. Oh, wow. So just I've already I've coloured those in. We've got an extra one there. Uh, and how vibrant do they look? So this is the magenta colour. So we've used those. We're going to pop them in. So we're going to do one on this side and one on the inside. I should have really done that beforehand, but uh, not to worry. So I am going to, first of all, do my... Um, vase inside so I'm going to bring in my 3d glue gel and stick that onto the middle part these work quite well don't they in these type of cards because then you've got your foreground and your background and the ability yes. to build almost like a little florist shop window absolutely yes I love that Ben that's exactly what it is so, so then we can just pop in our little stems because what they act as, uh, sorry, how they are fixed is because the glue gel I've put on the inside that you just stick them into it. Oh, okay. Oh, if I can pick it up. There we go. Oh, do you know what, Ben? I've just realised what I've done. I don't want to put these in there. Changed my mind. Oh. Well, it's not because I've changed my mind. It's because I want to put them somewhere else. So I can't pick it up now. Let's pick that, Difficult. <laughs> pick that up. What I want to do is put them, let me just turn them all round. These ones are going to be the ones on my outside. Oh, I so see. So let me just pop them together and put a little blob of glue down on there. So we're going to pop them on the outside because I want to put that wrap around on them. Ah, uh, like okay. Like this bit here. Oh. Oh, I wonder what that little bit was. Yeah, this is what I was saying. It's like the um, like the new the bridal ones where they have that um, that goes around. I wanted to shape. Oh, the I'm, one I'm they chuck over their heads. You mean? Yeah, but they've started having those sort of rustic ones. So I just want I'm going to change that out because I really wanted to. Uh, let me just get rid of that so it doesn't go anywhere. I wanted to give that a bit of shape. So let's pop that on, and then we can have our stems going up through there. Gotcha. There we go. That's better. Uh, let's have them just so we can see them. There we go. Uh, because then we can start putting all of these ones on. And we've got enough flowers to be able to put them on the outside and the inside. Love this. Um, if you have just joined us, by the way, uh, we've only got about 25 minutes left and we will be getting you to vote for your demo of the show very shortly. Been some lovely demos on this show. Um, but the great thing is, again, I'll use that word, which isn't a word. It's all been very followable. 
followable. Um, followable, <laughs> because th that's the whole thing about this collection. It's another one of those collections which makes you look like an absolute master straight off the bat, even if you've never crafted with these um, you know, dies before, uh, but maybe even a stamp before, you can create cards just like this really, really simply. And as we've chatted about as well, the great thing about this particular collection is the dies go through your mini. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'd like to get this, but I haven't got, um, you know, a die cutting or embossing machine. You don't have to spend a fortune to be able to get one. So, um, you know, really, it's a super collection to begin with, but as we've already heard as well, for those of you who have been with us a while and know your crafty stuff, I just know that you'll be going for this collection because you'll see the versatility in it. Um, you'll see the um, like sort of like the, the ability to be able to cross between all of the different collections within the main bundle. And you'll also know that flowers pretty much are for every occasion. Flowers are for everyone as well. It's not going to be just one of those bundles that you'll use once and then you'll stick in a drawer and never come back to you. I, I think this is going to be another one of those uh, collections that you'll have kind of at the forefront of your crafty space the whole time because isn't it nice just to be able to create a nice bright floral card and the fact that you can cut out all of the different elements with the dies that you've got within this collection to be able to, as we're seeing here, build up the depth and dimension on the cards as well. I think this is an absolute winner of a collection uh, and uh, you guys are agreeing as well, honestly. Uh, it's flying out the door. Uh, Jeffrey just saying, if you add some of the color blend pencils, you can intensify the color, add some sparkle. Uh, lots of love. Again, great way to be able to uh, be incorporating all the paper pads that you've got here as well. Karen just saying, I just love the paper pads from the Garden Party collection. I uh, just got two more in the mail last week. I believe they are my favorite, uh, but then there are others that are beautiful as well. Uh, and Lynn Harvey, hello Lynn, says, finally home from work, made it for the last half hour. Uh, hi Ben, Debbie, the CTV team and everyone. Uh, and there's lots of chat about your um, demos today as well, Debbie. Uh, lots of people saying you're absolutely smashing it. Oh, thank you so much. You know what? It's because the collection is so lovely. Uh, when you've got something so beautiful to work with, this is right up my street. When it comes to the launch of it, I was thrilled to be asked because it is exactly the type of crafting that I really can do uh, every single day, which looks amazing. So you can see building up that flower, creating on the outside and the insides of our cards, everything about that uh, just screams to me beauty and loveliness. And anyone that receives that, especially someone like me, I would adore that card. And you create that, you create whatever the structure uh, that you are doing, whether it be your gift bag, a gift card, um, a little gift tag on a card you know anything that you do these are the for you the flowers building them up just so simple um wow loads of you loving that last demonstration loads of you loving the demos we've seen already beautiful card debbie says mandy doodle hands uh, loving these says beth um just so many lovely comments coming in and you too can create cards uh, just as good by grabbing this collection today. Make sure you do though, brand new to us here on the launch day, uh, heading towards 40% of the stock already gone. You're already saving £14.95 or $17.29, £42 or $50. Uh, if you're a Platinum member, that comes down to $40 or £33.60. Uh, we will come back. We've got about 20 minutes to go. I think we'll probably squeeze in another demo. We'll get you to vote for the demo of the show, of course, as well. But this is the point in the hour where you check out your cards. You'll miss nothing over the next couple of minutes. So if you've got stuff in your baskets, get ready, because uh, here is your two minutes to get checking out your baskets. Off you go. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express three to seven day service. 
Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Lots more you're checking out your baskets. Well done, congratulations. If you've got your hands on this, it will be winging its way to you very shortly. Uh, loads of love. Love the bouquet, Debbie, um, says Cindy. Great colours. Uh, the small pieces as well, quick to colour, says Mary Pat, Pat 1000. That is a great point as well. You know what, you'll be very, very quickly uh, die cutting these out, colouring these. And again, if you want to be like sort of super prepped, as we said earlier on, you could do a load of the, the colouring and uh, die cutting one day, couldn't you? And then come back to make the cards the next day, get the kids, the grandkids involved as well super super set for that uh, Diane Lewis just saying I got my set of illustrators and ordered this set to color uh, and they're small enough to fit the mini absolutely couldn't be better uh, says Diane yeah that's what we've been hitting on as well for you saying that actually great color will go in the mini as well um, so it's just such a versatile set um, and loads of you taking advantage of that another thing you guys are loving as well is the storage that we've got on the show we've got the small storage but we also highlighted to you the uh, the big storage set as well and we've got just to prove they are the magnetic panels on the show for you as well the larger size um, so you're going to get a, uh, a three pack here uh, for 6.29 or 8.99 um, and again these are just brilliant the fact that you can put your dies in the front stick your stamps on the back you've already got the holes punched out of there as well and those fit in the larger um, folder of course but great deal today six pounds 29 or eight dollars 99 uh, you maybe want to double up on these uh, whilst they're at that price saving 10 percent and of course another 20 percent if you're platinum uh, these actually one of the uh, popular sellers on the show as well 40 percent of the stock has gone i think what people are doing getting this and then going uh oh gonna be out of storage and then getting more more of the magnetic panels to go with this collection so 40 percent uh, of the stock of those have gone so if you want to jump in and um, grab them make sure you do um, also proving very popular the uh, tri colors again my star buy of the show um, along with your launch bundle because i mean value for money wise amazing basically it works out that you're getting the four sets of the um, pens within the collection so you're going to get your uh, your great outdoors you're also going to get your essential neutrals and your floral meadows. And as we've been chatting about, you get three pens within each of the packs. Each pen contains three colors, uh, which blend beautifully because of course these are water-based as well. Uh, the fourth set that you're going to get is your color basics. And the way that the price works on this, it means that you're not paying for that um, collection. You get that for free. Um, and as I said, for blendability, amazing. For color matching, amazing. For all the different techniques that you want to go for, this really is a super set. The fact that you're getting the fourth set for free is brilliant, but it's even more brilliant for the fact that we're giving you the storage set for free as well. So you get a free storage wallet, you get a free set of the pens as well. All that for £29.97 or $44.85 is phenomenal. Even better if you're a platinum member, it is £23.97. 98 or 35 dollars 88 super buy three most popular items on the show right i've just shown you the storage panels people are buying the storage panels because you've got a zillion well you haven't got a zillion there's 118 elements within that brand new collection loads of dies loads of stamps in there so people are being savvy and going for that collection uh, don't forget you get your um uh, finesse stamp with that as well 
and then people are going for the tricolour because they want something to colour in the stamps with too. So that's a really, really uh, good bit of shopping there. Well done all. We have got 15 minutes to go uh, and we are approaching 40% of the Builder Bouquet set. All the stamps and dies that I've shown you, uh, that you're going to get for that amazing price. Uh, but now is the time to squeeze in the final demo uh, before we get you to vote for the demo of the show. It's going to be a tough job. Always shows you how great a collection is when we get to the end of the show and there's kind of like no clear winner, I don't think, on the demo of the show because all the demos have been that good and it shows you how great this collection is, doesn't it? I mean, it also shows what a great crafter you are. Uh, no, me, but... you know what, Ben? You haven't got to explain because you are so right. I have loved working with this collection and I think your comments show that because every single one, uh, it's like when you, um, when you have something, they then create your memories of card concepts. So we then go into what else we can do with them, what else we can put them onto. Then you get into all your colours and think, what colours can I do them in? Because the colour choice is yours. You can do whatever colours you want to. So, and including, there's a lot of uh, solid stamps, and I mean solid stamps, as in you can just stamp them in that colour. Uh, and this will work really well for anyone that doesn't want to do any colouring. So I'm just going to stamp a couple up here. We've got our bow and we've got our leaves. So I'm just going to put our, I am using our honey pot in our quick drying and I'm using the green topaz for our leaves, just inking them up and stamping them down. Now I always like to give a second stamp, you can see it's stamped beautifully but I do like to always go in with that second stamp which just really lays down that colour. And because they're quick drying, and I will show you just how quick drying they are, as soon as you stamp, take that off, I can rub that and it's not going to go Perfect. anywhere. Yeah, I love these. I think they're just brilliant for stamping in. It means you're going to get those gorgeous stamps every single time. It also means that with these, you get the die set. So let me just bring in the die set. So we've got our uh, bow there and then we've got our leaf so we can cut those out. I've also just put inside my Gemini Mini uh, just one of the little vases. So we're gonna pop that in. So run that through. And then we're gonna do these ones. So I am just gonna trim them down because they will fit through the Mini then. So do our first one. And I will just put a little bit of tape on there just to hold that in place so it doesn't move. Popping that over the top. Oh, there we go. I can um, I can hear typing. Can you hear typing, Ben? Now <laughs> I can. Uh, I can't. Hear, I can't hear typing. It was, I was thinking, what was that noise? And all I could hear. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> I've. Um, I, I, I could hear Johnny earlier on. Uh, Slurping. Slurping out of his, uh, <laughs> out of his uh, bottle. I didn't want to comment, but I'm glad that you heard that as well. I, go, mm, I was like, what's mm, that? Typing. Mm, yeah, the bottle. Mm, no, it was... Was he? <laughs> <laughs> so Sean, he was like... Uh, but no, he's, he's typing currently because he's messaging Tiffany. Uh, totally Tiffany. There's a big show coming. End of the month. Oh. So uh, look out for that. Oh, back in... Am I allowed to say? Back in the craft house. Back in the craft house. It was a monster show we did Saturday before last. Um, so back by popular demand in the craft house. Tiffany Isn't she amazing? Be, she is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, I love her. She's she's uh, she's brilliant. Yeah, she really is, and not just so much her, but her products uh, are yeah. out of this world. Do you know what? As well, though, when you when you think of people who are like uber excited, I always think like Sarah's like sort of top of the list. Yeah. Like, Tiffany is on, I think, the same sort of level. Yeah. I just wonder what would happen if Sarah and Tiffany did a show together. Like, <laughs> like the, the internet would ex explode, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> no, she was great. It's the first time I worked with her. Uh, Saturday oh, before last, really? actually. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Lo yeah, really, really good yeah, fun. I say super lady. enthusiastic. She was brilliant. So what I've done here, Ben, is I've just created a little easel card using my circle nesting dies. So I've just cut around to uh, create that. I laid the die on top of a folded piece of card, but didn't do it over the edge, so it created that part. I then used my next nesting die to create our inner 
uh, matte and layers. And then I've just gone round it with our, uh, with a, I think it was the smoked pumice, just to give that a little edge all the way round. Okay. And then when I folded it in half, all we're going to do now is stick this on the front, but we're only going to add our adhesive underneath our a folded part there. Okay. So pop that there and this one on top. So I'm just going to make sure I hold it round so it's all on top there and give that a rub down and then that way we've got our little easel card all nice and ready Brilliant. so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring in all my bits so again i've got all these pieces that are already uh, cut out i absolutely adored doing all these because i didn't do it it didn't feel like work it felt like um uh, it felt like I was just having fun. Yeah. I, I remember watching telly at the time. We were watching a film and I just sat with my lap tray and my Gemini um, mini and then I just cut all these bits out and coloured them all in, which was lovely. That's right. It should be like though, right? It's just exactly what in it front of the TV like. uh, making your projects, which is just um, fantastic. So what I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to create our little stepper. So I'm not going to use my 3D or um, 3D um, can't think, think chunky what glue. It was. chunky glue, but uh, 3D cloud. Oh, cloud no. glue. Oh, no, what's it called? 3D chunky glue. No, what's it actually called? 3D Can glue gel. gel. <laughs> chunky glue is what it is. Glue gel. <laughs> um, just to clear it up as well, Sally. By the way, I said Johnny was slurping in my ear. He was not flirting uh, in, 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 my, in my ear, uh, whispering sweet nothings in my ear. He doesn't do that. He definitely does not do that. He does definitely not do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gemma, his wife will have words then. <laughs> Can you imagine? Although having said that, with the slurping that was going on, I kind of wish that he was flirting in my ear, but um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, so we've done our first bit. We've got our easel stopper there, which is nice and pretty. Then we're going to pop this one down because we're then going to bring in our next piece. And again, our 3D glue gel. Popping that on. I don't know why I always question what I call this glue. I think I should just call it chunky glue like our <laughs> Debbie does. Yeah. I, maybe it is because I just keep calling it chunky glue. That's, I, I, I don't know. I don't need. Don't, I don't know the proper name for it. Actually, I know you've just said it. Was it three D? Three D glue gel. Three D glue gel. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Get chunky glue eventually. is just easier to remember, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just call it that. So, I'm going to start building this up. And th and this is again for people just watching, like your choice of adhesive for building these because i know craig potentially would go to foam pads for, the only for reason i don't use foam pads on these and i would do for lots of others is because if i didn't like them or if i put a flower down and the leaf wasn't in the right place by using this glue i can move it about each time yeah so uh, i'm just going to bring in my other pieces here we've just got a couple more pieces to put into shape so I'm just doing them so you can see they sort of spray out uh, and then we can start putting in uh, and it's all about composition with flowers and having them layered and so I'm going to put in my three here. Joanne just saying uh, such versatility with this set you can use the individual flowers leaves and vases in so many ways yeah absolutely you can and again you don't always have to you don't always have to build a bouquet like a 3d bouquet you, you can use these however you want I mean that's the whole kind of idea with these, but again, you've got so many different flowers within this collection to do exactly what you want with. That is the point, but the Builder Bouquet side of this, I think, is just brilliant. And uh, who was it saying? Mandy saying, this is gonna be a hard decision for the card of the show. <laughs> it is, and I'm glad I don't get to vote, is all I'm saying, because this would be tough. What is this, demo number five? Uh, five, yes, yes. And so I've got one through. more flower here. Well, I did have six, but we're not going to fit the sixth one in, are we? We're not now. <laughs> six but can you left. see, just building that all up, we can see we've done that beautiful arrangement. I'm going to put our bow in just under there. That's annoying. I've just, um, uh, let me get my pokey tool and just use that, because I've put that glue gel right in the way there. There we go. Just cover that up. There we go. Brilliant. Yep, so if I bring that in and turn that round, we can then see we've got that beautiful little easel card. 
And there we go. All right, well, there you go. Another fantastic make. How great is this collection? So many beautiful cards. Loads of you said who just joined in late uh, that you're saving this show, going to re-watch this show. It is an absolute must, honestly. It's um, been such a great launch. So many beautiful projects. And again, I think that really gives you an idea as to how great this collection is, just for the fact that all of the demos, all of the cards which you're going to see now in a little lineup that Debbie has made are phenomenal. And good luck voting here. I mean, seriously, which are you going to go for? Uh, Debbie has got the lineup ready on the other side of the studio, so take us through them. Debbie, what's number one? Number one is our alternative easel cards, oh, yeah, our like upside that. down easel there. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Then we had no, this good. one, number two, with the um, uh, details printed in the background, the bridge card. Then number three, was it this one? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I like so three. Number three was our aperture card. Number four mm. was our beautiful pinks and our blue blues and then number five was that gorgeous easel card mm. that we've just done there that is tough <laughs> that is tough you have got it's even tougher for the fact that you've only got about two minutes to vote here two minutes to get your vote in one two three four or five Good luck. I am really interested to see which one is your favourite there. Uh, but get voting and uh, we'll crown that as the demo of the show in just a few moments' time. Uh, let's tell you, though, what else is to come here on Crafters TV. Uh, of course, this evening, Monday Makers. What is that I spy on the screen? Yes. Uh, the Gemini Pro is here, not many, uh, and we've got that gorgeous um, village collection on the show for you too, and a wonderful uh, Monday mega deal. And of course, back tomorrow, myself and Craig for Wake Up Call from 12 o'clock midday here in the UK, 7 o'clock Eastern, uh, and we're going to be chatting about Best Friends Day. Uh, we want to hear your stories of you and your bezies tomorrow on the show from midday. But what a great show. Um, loads of you just saying you've enjoyed it so, so much. Um, I used to just saying all six demos have been beautiful. You've got to vote, you've got to vote for your favourite. Um, Mary Pat just saying, what a beautiful card, Debbie. Um, and so much love coming in for this. I just think this is a collection that is so, so super versatile um, for the fact that you know, the dies and stamps themselves are versatile, but the fact that you're talking flowers, I mean, you are just never going to go far wrong with these at all for any occasion, for any person, for any time of the year, because the fact that you've got so many flowers in the, within this collection, um, you can kind of make your own flowers for the season, just choosing the colours that you use. So remember, for each of the, um, the four bundles, you get the stamps and the dies um, included just to make life so much easier for you and to make crafting much more fun because you're not having to worry about fussy cutting all of the dies will cut out your stamps this is the wishing you well bundle then on top of that one um, is the uh, second which is um, for a beautiful friend really love that the little um, jam jar pot in there you've got your beautiful flowers and foliage and stems and again all of the dies to be able to cut out those stamps on top of that, this is the uh, third bundle. This is just for you. You've also got with that one, uh, with love from me to you. And again, I love the fact that it's interchangeable as far as the stems are concerned. So there we've got the, uh, the bunch of stems, but then you've got single stems in the other collections as well that you can kind of mix and match around. Again, all of those dies to be able to cut out your uh, stamps. And then once again, your final bundle uh, is the enjoy your day. Uh, what a beautiful collection. You're getting all four of those, plus you're getting your finesse waterproof ink pad included as well in the flagstone. Brand new, 40% of the stock has gone and climbing. Uh, this will be the point now where people begin to check out their baskets. If you haven't already, uh, you're saving £14.95 or $17.29. Uh, the price today is £42. I think that's such a great buy. $50, and if you're a Platinum member, that comes down even further to £33.60 or $40. Star buy of the show for me as well as our launch day is the tri-color marker collection because this works out that you're going to get uh, all of that but you're only actually paying for three sets of the pens which is phenomenal. So you're going to get your color basics, your great outdoors and your essentials neutrals plus on top of that your floral meadow which you won't pay for and the storage as well. This is all about blendability because these are uh, water based of course and within each of the pens you've got the three different colors. So the color blends are going to be amazing and all of the different things that you can do with those pens uh, as far as techniques are concerned just so many to choose from. £29.97 or $44.85 is the deal on that uh, and again take another 20% off if you are a platinum member. Whoa the result is in. Mm. 
Uh, my fa oh, sorry, I just re I know which one's one, obviously. My favourite, not that it matters, was number three. One, two, three. Yeah, number mm -hmm. three is not the winner. Mine was number, I love number one and mm. number four. Well, I can tell you that number one is not the winner. Uh -uh. However, number four is the winner. Ah, that was my favourite. I love that. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, wow. Um, just a final word from you on this as that one uh, will go up on the shelf for now for our demo of the show. I mean, you genuinely love playing with this collection. I can, I can tell you, you, you love it, don't you? But for people who are on the fence, why should we go for it? Oh, because it's so pretty. This is a mindful hobby crafting and this certainly takes you into that zone of florals and flowers and just beautiful things to do. If you love your colouring, uh, actually, even if you don't love your colouring but you need to start somewhere, these are great for that because you've got small areas that you can colour in and make them look really pretty but you're in control you're in control of whatever you make so whatever style card you can batch make Ben a load of different cards shapes put all your different papers on them and then you can then decide what flowers you want to put on there what vases paint them in the colours that you want them colour them in they're going to be exquisite uh, versatility certainly is the key with this collection so uh, if you have got it in your basket make sure you check it out uh, they might be worth throwing in as well the tricolour market collection the fact that you get the two set uh, the set of pens free and the storage uh, amazing thank you for joining us big thank you to debbie we are back in uh, just over two hours time with a monday makers it's going to be a brilliant show might just have a few gemini pros to bring to you but uh, you'll have to tune in a couple of hours uh, and we will look forward to having your company then bye for now